Hello, I'm Courtney What's Up, and today I'm joined by special guest, Katrina McCarter. <laughs> and today we're going to be doing the Guess the Book Plot Challenge. So basically in this challenge, I'm going to hand Katrina a book and you're gonna only going to be allowed to look at the cover. You can't look at the synopsis or the back and you're going to have to try to guess what the plot of the book is. If you get the plot like pretty close to it, I'll give you a point. But if you're like way off, you don't get any points. And since you're the only one playing, you'll be the only winner. So it's like an automatic win unless you get like no points. Because wow. <laughs> who knows what type of plot you're going to come up with. Are you ready? Mm, yeah. I, I already have my first book in mind. And... Ah, it's gonna be a challenge. <laughs> oh, make the first round hard. So let's get started. Okay, Katrina. So your first book is A Court in Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Moss. So look, just look at the cover and tell me what what do you think it's about? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Don't just just the cover. Is this like fairy tale? I don't know. It is a it's a fairy tale retelling. It's like a classic fairy tale. Like I well, love it's it. It's kind of like Snow Whiteish. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> no, that's wrong. <laughs> well, thorns. I'm thinking. I don't know. I'm thinking about forest. So like, there is, is there it? is a forest. <laughs> is it like Sleeping Beauty kind of? Is she had thorns? No. It's not like Sleeping Beauty. Oh, no. this, you're not supposed to judge a book by its cover. Isn't that one of the quotes? You, this is wrong. Just give me a summary of the book. Just she give me a like, flat out plot okay. right now. Like maybe she like ran away from home. I don't know. This is hard. The thorns. And she looks like, she looks like a powerful person. Like she became really cool and powerful. And okay, that's good. It looks like maybe she might have had a bad background, and she she became really independent and on her own. So. Okay, I can take. Okay, I'll take that. I'm gonna give you the point just because of the independent thing. But this is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. Uh, it's not <laughs> <laughs> it's about this girl named Farah, and one day she's in the woods and she sees this wolf and. She's like, hey, food. So she decides to shoot it because her family's on the brink of starvation. So she shoots it, but then she finds out that this wolf is actually like this high fae person. Like, really important dude. Like, fays are like fairies. This guy named Tamlink shows up and is just like, hey, you killed that boring dude. I'm taking you hostage. And takes her to this place called the Spring Court. And they like fall in love, you know? And uh, then. Stuff happens, and she has to go on this epic journey quest to go save him from under the mountain, and it's insane. Yeah, I would have never gotten that. <laughs> but it's so good, though. Like, that is one of the best books ever. No, the sequel's, like, really good, though. A Court of Mist and Fury. <laughs> now that's some good stuff right there. Right, Sand? <laughs> okay, so the next book I'm going to do is... Six of Crows by Leah Bardugo. I remember you reading this book. You run it to school like every day. But I was obsessed with it. Yeah, I, never, I always asked you and then I always forgot like the next day. So this is terrible. I need ah. that information. You didn't realize that information would come to important use mm -hmm. to this day. Is this the one you were telling me about the assassin? She had to kill somebody? No. Oh, well that was different. But there is a lot well, of killing. This is the one you tell me about the people and they had to go on a heist. Okay, okay, you're on. You're now. You're just using information. You know, what, by the cover, what what can you? What do you think this book is about? Just by the cover, a crow. <laughs> what does it say right there in the red? That's six dangerous outcasts and one impossible heist. Okay, it doesn't tell me anything about the yes, crow. It, yes, it. Oh. <laughs> what does the crow have to do with a heist? What does this crow have to do with anything? <laughs> this crow. <laughs> so you were completely wrong, except for the heist stuff. That was right, but I'm not giving you the point because you just kept talking about the crow, which the crow... 
not really that important. It's kind of just like a symbol in a way. Well, I think they do see some crows actually, but okay, this book is about six people that go on this heist to go save something, which I can't say what because that's a spoiler, but um, they and it's this heist is like worth like a lot of cash, so like they all do this heist just for the money, but it's super dangerous and they go through all of this terrible stuff and then there's that end and it's just like it's cray cray it's that it's crazy okay so the next one i'm gonna do is boy oh boy be before you by uh, jojo boy <laughs> i've seen the commercial oh so you've seen the, the commercials movie. for the movie oh okay so what i know mostly is that uh, this guy he um I don't know exactly what's wrong with him, but I know he's in a wheelchair. And he was on bed rest for a little bit. So, the um, the girl that comes in is like kind of like his caretaker, and she's supposed to help him. And, you know, they end up falling in love and stuff, and they go to this ball. But after that, I don't really know. <laughs> I think he gets hurt or something, because it was, it was some action in there, from what I saw from the commercial. <laughs> this is a contemporary <laughs> book. You get the point, because... You, uh, you didn't cheat, but, like, you know the commercials, so. But that, you you are right. It is about a guy <laughs> named Will Trainer, which you all know my relationship with him. I do not like that guy. He gets hit by a car, so he's not, like, a quadrupelic, something like that, where he's in a wheelchair. And she he has his caregiver named Louisa Clark, and it's just a relationship and them falling in love and then something terrible happens in the end and it's really sad. The next book I'm going to do is I have Legend by Marie Lu. I heard this was kind of like divergent. It was like they had like similar um, sort of not oh. exactly. From the cover what do you think Legend is about? War. Okay I'll take what what else besides war? It's not just war. There's... I mean... I don't know. It looked like maybe they won. The star and gold. I don't know. Since it says legend, maybe there's this special war. This legendary war. I don't know. Uh, eh. I don't know. That's okay. These are hard. Because what even is that shape? I think it's a symbol, maybe, that's in the book that they talk about. Maybe. I read these books such a long time ago, but it's still, like, my favorite trilogy. Though. Or maybe Shatter Me is now. So you think it's just about a special war? Someone who won a special war? No. Well, maybe not someone. Some people. People. Some uh, special people, maybe. Some legendary people. Uh, some nice. Some cool people. You're not getting the point because you were so wrong. Yeah. No, the the war happens in like the last book. The last book's called Champion. Well, did they win? Let's see, I told you they'd win. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they do. Just how it happens, though, is pretty depressing. They won by default. <laughs> <laughs> no, just how, just something happens during the war. If you read these books, you know what happens today. Okay, so this book is about a girl named June. And she's, like, really smart. She's a prodigy, which is the second book. Prodigy, that's what it's called. And she's, like, she's, like, 14 or 15, but she's already going to college. So there's her, and then there's Day. And Day is also, like, her age, but he is, like, homeless. Like, his family's dead, and he, like, has no food, and he's, like, the most wanted criminal in this world. Like, it's America, but... It's like a very, it's very different America. June and Day meet each other because her, June's brother is murdered and she thinks that this Day guy did it, but um, that's not the case and then a bunch of crazy stuff happens and you know, something obviously happens between them two because that's how all books work these days, but. I wouldn't have gotten that. It's very good. <laughs> Highly recommend. One of the best trilogies ever. And lastly, the last book I'm gonna do as The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater. Well, The Raven seems really, really important. Because, I don't know, it looks like it has red near his heart, so maybe it has something to do with his heart. Yeah. 
No, 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 no not really. <laughs> but it is important, though. So, I'm looking at the Raven boys here, the four boys. Yeah. And it seems like two of them are, like, preppy, kind of go to, like, this maybe university-type school or something. And okay. the other two look like, like, you know, the bad boys, like, outlaw kind of people. But maybe they have to meet up, like, to find this Raven. I don't know. <laughs> I was going somewhere and then I did <laughs> That's now going to become the best New York Times best selling plot for boys looking. <laughs> Maybe the Raven like stole their sandwich. <laughs> I'd go for a Raven if he stole my sandwich. <laughs> Even though the plot you've just created sounds awesome. No. You're so wrong. <laughs> Never gonna get oh, you got some point, but oh, uh, this one, one this one was like the funniest. Though. So the Raven Boys is uh, is actually about a girl named Blue Sergeant, and her she <laughs> she comes from a family of psychics, and but she doesn't have the psychic ability though. Her family has told her her whole life that if she kisses her true love, he'll die. Like she'll be the cause of his death. That is horrible. <laughs> I know, but. Just listen. So she's like 16, so she's like, oh, I'm never gonna fall in love, blah, 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 until she meets these guys that go to this really fancy school called, A what is it called? B. I don't know. I've never known how to say it, but it is kind of like a university. It's really nice, really preppy. She meets these guys named Gancy, Adam, Ronan, and Noah, and she starts to like like these guys and become really close to them and the main dude, Gancy, wants to find this Welsh king named Glendower. Sounds so much better than, you know, four boys chasing a raven for a sandwich. Yes it does, yes. <laughs> but totally, you should totally make that a book. No, I'm you, good. Who uh, would read that? I would, but that, my friends, was the Guess the Book Plot Challenge. Katrina, did you have fun today? I really did. You did really better than I thought you were going to. Thank you, because I really thought I was going to miss all of those. You, you did pretty good. You came up with some interesting plots. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I am Courtney. And I'm Katrina. And I will see you all next time with a new video up soon, so I will see you then, so bye! Yo! <laughs> but the lesson you've learned today is that you should read all these books that I've recommended you. Yes. And yes. to never judge a book by its cover, Courtney. Sheesh. That was so wrong. It's just a fun game. <laughs> it was sadder than Divergent. The Divergent series. Because that Me. was like pro sadness. To right me, there. I think the end of this series is sadder. The end mm. of Divergent is, like, of, that just made me mad. Huh? Yeah, yeah, that was more madness. Than and that's the raven right there. The raven in this is actually really important. It's not okay. like the crow. Like, the raven has significance. The crow, the crow, not really there. The crow has no importance. It's just, it just makes a pretty cover. <laughs> How was I supposed to get that? I don't know. <laughs>